Culligan bought out Zero Water and is now selling the product redesigned and rebranded as Culligan with Zero Water technology. I've had a lot of requests from you guys, so I wanted to get this one prioritized for testing. I tested the 10 cup Culligan Zero Water pitcher in real world conditions and sent both the raw and filtered water to a certified lab to see exactly what it removed, how it performed, and whether it's really worth buying. So Culligan actually acquired the Zero Water brand back in 2020. At the time, Zero Water was already well known for its five stage ion exchange design and those 000 TDS readings people love to show off. But the legacy pitchers also came with their fair share of issues and user complaints. Now, Culligan has rolled out a redesigned version under its own branding. The core technology is still very much zero water, the same certified five-stage filter advertised for removing virtually all dissolved solids. But the pitcher itself has been modernized with a new design, upgraded sealing mechanisms, and an integrated integrated TDS meter. So we ran the Culligan Zero Water Pitcher through our full hands-on testing process and certified lab analysis to see how it performs. Just like the Legacy Zero Water Filter, the Culligan rebrand uses the same filter design that combines three layers of physical filtration to strain out suspended solids, activated carbon, which targets chlorine, odor, and volatile organics, KDF, which also reduces chlorine, heavy metals, and prevents bacteria growth inside the filter, and a mixed bed ion exchange resin which removes inorganics, minerals, and metals. Culligan doesn't list a filter capacity on the product page, but the official IAPMO certifications confirm each filter is rated for up to 20 gallons of use. Just like with the legacy Zero Water products, all the Culligan pitcher and dispenser models from the 7 cup up to the 40 cup use the same cartridge. One of the biggest questions people have is how this Culligan Zero Water pitcher compares to the original design that's been around for years. And it's pretty clear that Culligan listened to customer feedback with this redesign because they addressed nearly every complaint users had with the legacy model. First, the way the filter is installed is completely different. On the old model, the filter was threaded on from the bottom of the upper reservoir, and getting a watertight seal took some real muscle sometimes. You had to twist it tight enough to prevent leaks, but not so tight that you couldn't remove it later. It was awkward and honestly a big pain in the butt. The new Culligan version fixes that issue. The filter now slides in from the top and locks into place with a simple twist. It seals tightly every every time and you don't have to fight with it or worry about leaks from the seal like you did with the old version. The lid has also been redesigned. On the older model, it would slip and fall off since it kind of just sat on top and didn't really lock into place. The new model uses a firm fitting lid with a silicone seal that stays locked in even when you tilt and pour the pitcher. Like I already touched on, they also improve the way that you check TDS and thus filter life. On the old Zero Water, you had to pull out the separate handheld TDS meter from the lid and manually test the water after pouring it into a glass. The new Culligan model integrates the TDS meter directly into the pitcher body, so it constantly reads the filtered water in real time. That means no more separate testing, just a quick glance at the meter tells you the current TDS and if it's time to replace the filter. Finally, Culligan removed the annoying spout cover. It could cause inconsistent water flow when first pouring and would often overflow the edges of your glass. The new spout has an open, smooth flow design that pours evenly and predictably. Overall, these design tweaks make the Culligan Zero Water Pitcher far easier to use, while addressing the most common complaints people had with the original design. Now, this is one of the most comprehensively certified water filter pitchers we've tested yet. It's certified by IAPMO to four separate NSF ANSI standards, covering 100% of its advertised claims. NSF ANSI 42 for chlorine, taste, odor, and zinc. NSF ANSI 53 for lead, fluoride, mercury, cadmium, copper, hexavalent chromium, and total PFAS. Those are those forever chemicals. NSF ANSI 401 for pharmaceuticals and pesticides like ibuprofen, DEET, BPA, and estrone. It's also certified to NSF ANSI 372 for lead-free material safety. In short, it's fully backed by rigorous third-party verification, 
not just marketing claims. And they only make contaminant reduction claims for what they've actually certified the filter for, which gave it a boost to its contaminant reduction score, which I'll talk about more in just a minute. And if you want to see the exact model we tested, there's a link down in the description. We tested this picture in Colorado using TAPSCORE's advanced city water test kit to measure over a hundred analytes before and after filtration. We collected a baseline sample before filtration and a post filtration sample directly from the picture. The results were compared against conservative health guideline levels, HGLs, which are much more protective of human health than the EPA's enforceable maximum contaminant levels. We also did on-site chlorine testing to verify aesthetic performance. If you like seeing product reviews based on real-world testing and lab analysis, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments which filter I should test next. Our unfiltered tap water contained the following nine health-related contaminants, but all within their respective HGLs. Sulfate, nitrate, zinc, strontium, copper, barium, and molybdenum. More concerningly, it also had uranium at 0.032 ppm above the HGL of zero and fluoride at 1.4 ppm above the HGL of 0.799. Even though only fluoride and uranium were above health guideline levels, every single one of these contaminants was completely eliminated after filtration, each dropping to below detectable limits. We also measured about 2 ppm of chlorine in the baseline sample and found no detectable chlorine after filtration, which isn't surprising considering the filter is certified to NSF42 for chlorine reduction. That confirms the Culligan Zero Water Pitcher removed 100% of both health-related and aesthetic contaminants present in our water. As expected for a filter marketed to remove virtually all TDS, our post-filtration lab sample showed a 96% reduction in total dissolved solids, dropping from 138 ppm to just 5 ppm. Now, if you're wondering why the lab measured 5 ppm while the Zero Water meter shows zero, it's simply because the lab's equipment equipment is so much more sensitive and can detect tiny amounts of dissolved solids that the meter can't pick up. In this case, traces of carbonate and bicarbonate remained in the water, but each still being reduced by 99.99%. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, and hardness all fell to zero. And the pH dropped from 7.6 down to 6.6, .6, making the water slightly acidic. Demineralized water can taste weird to some people because minerals like calcium and magnesium help balance flavor. That said, taste is completely subjective and others may actually prefer the taste of low mineral content water. Now let's look at how the Culligan Zero Water Pitcher performed in our scoring system, starting with contaminant reduction, where it received a 9.65. This score reflects both our own lab results and its official certifications. Our lab data confirmed 100% removal of every detected health-related contaminant. And the filter is certified to NSF ANSI standards 42, 53, and 401 for every single contaminant they claim it can reduce. It scored 9.4 for design, which comes from two subcategories, component quality and material safety certification. For component quality, the Culligan Zero Water earned a 9 thanks to its sturdy construction from BPA-free polypropylene and ABS plastics. The fit and finish feels durable and well-made for a budget pitcher and higher quality than the Legacy Zero Water Pitcher. It's officially IATMO certified for material safety both under its performance standards 42, 53, and 401, and it also holds an NSF ANSI 372 certification for being lead-free. This earned it the top score of 10 in this subcategory. For gravity-fed systems like pitchers, we measure flow rate in gallons per hour, or GPH for short. We measured the Culligan Zero Water at 1.9 GPH, which earned it a 9.5 in this category. This means it filters a full upper reservoir in about seven minutes, which is actually pretty fast for a gravity system. It received a 9.5 for its ease of setup. 
It took less than five minutes from unboxing to get it filtering. You simply wash the pitcher, rinse and twist in the filter, and you're ready to go. No difficult or time-consuming filter priming necessary. In the maintenance category, it scored an eight, which is made up from two subcategories, servicing requirements and ongoing filter replacement costs. For servicing requirements, it received a 10 because it's extremely simple to maintain. Just wash the pitcher weekly and swap out the filter when the the TDS reads 6 and the light on the meter comes on. It got the lowest score of 6 for ongoing cost. The filters are certified for 20 gallons and cost about $18 each, which is an average whopping 90 cents per gallon, the highest of all the water filters I've tested so far. Though they are cheaper if you buy in larger quantities. For example, if you were to buy the largest 12 pack, each filter costs significantly less at 1333, which would lower the cost per gallon from 90 cents to 66 cents. Cheaper, but still more expensive than other pitchers. The company score of 7.6 is determined by warranty, shipping, and returns policies. Culligan got a 7 for warranty because coverage is just 90 days on the pitcher and 30 days on the filter element, one of the shortest we've seen. It got a 9 for shipping since orders over $99 ship free within the continental US. Returns scored a 7 because the policy is vague and handled case by case. When we combine all categories according to their weights, contaminant reduction 55%, filtration rate 10%, design 10%, setup 10%, maintenance 10%, and company 5%, the Culligan Zero Water Pitcher received an overall 9.33 out of 10. That makes it the highest scoring water filter pitcher we've tested so far. So there are a lot of things I really do like about the Culligan Zero Water Pitcher. First and most importantly, it offers exceptional contaminant reduction performance. In our testing, it removed every detectable health related and aesthetic contaminant, including fluoride and uranium, which not many other water filter pitchers are capable of. And it's comprehensive certifications to NSFNC standards for every single contaminant they claim to remove, proves performance for key contaminants like heavy metals, PFAS, and pharmaceuticals. And design quality is excellent for a plastic pitcher. The materials feel solid, the filter is easy to install, the lid fits securely, it doesn't spill all over the place when pouring, and the built-in TDS meter makes maintenance easy. It's also one of the fastest filters we've tested in this category, taking only a few minutes to filter the top reservoir. And finally, setup is simple and user-friendly, even for complete beginners to water filtration. Now, of course, there are a few setbacks, the biggest being ongoing cost. That average of 90 cents per gallon I mentioned could easily end up being even more depending on the quality of water being filtered and required frequency of filter replacements. Again, this is primarily due to the relatively low filter capacity of just 20 gallons. Because the filter removes all the minerals, the water can taste flat or acidic to some people. The warranty is only 90 days and the return policy is poorly defined, so post-purchase support isn't clear. And while there is a glass dispenser option, the same design as the Legacy model, the plastic filter housing still sits down in the filtered water, which is a common complaint I hear about. This pitch is a great fit for renters or smaller households who want a simple plug-and-play solution with verified contaminant reduction. If you care about certified performance for things like PFAS, fluoride, lead, pharmaceuticals, and heavy metals, and you don't mind replacing the filters more often, the Culligan Zero Water delivers some of the most impressive results we've seen without stepping up to reverse osmosis. But the ongoing cost could very well be a deal breaker, especially if you drink a lot of water or live in an area with higher TDS or hardness where filters will deplete even faster. And because this filter removes virtually all minerals, the taste may not appeal to everyone. If you prefer water with a more balanced mineral profile, this probably won't be your favorite. The Culligan Zero Water Pitcher sets a new benchmark for contaminant reduction in our testing. It's fast, easy to use, and backed by independent certifications for every contaminant it claims to remove, something very few pitchers can say. For anyone who wants the highest possible purity from a non-RO system, this is one of the best options out there. If you want to see how this filter compares to other popular brands like the Brita Elite or Clearly Filtered, 
stick around for the next video. And if you like these kinds of product reviews, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next round of testing.